Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and makes you feel good. All right, y'all. So it's the end of August. We are here. <laughs> I don't know where the year is going. It's in a hurry. Somebody sped up time. I'm convinced. I'm literally convinced someone is sped up time. Anyway, yeah. So blue moon is coming. Just letting y'all know. Anyway, we're going to go over the fragrances I either purchased or received in August. I actually had one. I had, I filmed never let the video go up because I don't know what's going on with that. You'll know when we get to it. But anyway, I also have uh, some of my favorites from August. Might as well since it's not a lot that I purchased in August. And listen, I'm looking forward to fall. <laughs> Let's just keep it real. Okay. All right, so let me sip this coffee and I'll be right. August was a good month. Every month that I'm still here, <laughs> it's a good month for him. So yeah, I have no complaints at all. It's like when you think that you got some going on and some, yeah, and you look at somebody else's and you like, I'm doing just fine. Like, it's crazy, this world's crazy right now, right? Let's get into these fragrances. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is Mayer or Meyer. And this is a beautiful, fresh, uh, yeah, musky, fruity, fresh floral fragrance. This is crazy. This is everything in one. This does not smell like my way. Does not smell like um, Lamp Patrice, right? From De Dolce & Gabbana. It has its own thing. More like red fruits. More like <sighs> pink florals and heavy must that's kind of like what it smells like to me yeah and i like it and it's fresh and it's clean and it's a really good scent very affordable i'll probably pass this on to my daughters i've already kind of like did a little dent in it for august i really enjoyed it it was like for those hot days where you just want to smell something really fresh and i probably shouldn't start spraying because i, I got so much to talk about yeah so you know what it reminds let me tell you it reminds me of when i wore it the other day I wore it to bed the other day. I've just really been enjoying wearing like these fresh fruity fragrances to bed. It smells like raspberry lemonade with musk. I'm, I'm just going to say that. That's kind of like what I get from this. So I love it. So it doesn't have that rhubarb type tart or kiwi watermelon, whatever that y'all looking for between my way and between um, Lamb Patrice. It, no, this is its own fragrance. Really good. Like it. Love it. 20 bucks, I think. I don't know. I think it was like 20 bucks, y'all. All right, so I'm going to sneak this one in here. I think I purchased this in July. I don't even remember. I remember purchasing this. Maybe I purchased it in August. I remember telling you all, don't buy this. It's a waste of money. It don't, it, I spray it. It lasts three minutes. And then someone in the comments was like, girl, put that in the cabinet for a while. Let it do its thing. And I did. Almost the entire month. And the week, week ago, I sprayed it. Because something in here kept, kept telling me this smells like something. I couldn't find it on fragrance, but it's called Exilus, and it's from, girl, who is this from, Latafa or Armand? This is from Armand. And I was like, no way they can make this bottle, this beautiful bottle, and do all this, and it doesn't last three minutes. So, I'm spraying this brand the other day, <laughs> last week, and about, I would say, two hours in, I'm like, well, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Girl, you know what this smells like to me? Yeah, but, mm. So, I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. I'm, this is not supposed to be my fragrance of the day. This smells like Jergens lotion, like the thick Jergens lotion with, it just, it just skipped my mind, Jador. This smells like Jergens lotion and Jador. Like a one of the versions of Jador, not really original. It smells more. It has like a creamy something to it with Jador on top. Like I just lotion myself with with Jergens, like that scent that you get from like Jergens and the thicker white lotions, like you know the less expensive lotions. And Jador, that's what it smells like to me. So it, it just wouldn't last. And I kept spraying and spraying wouldn't last. Now I would say a couple hours, three, four hours spraying. You know, got spray. Last long on clothes. But I'm glad that I did put it in the cabinet. So I'm going to leave it in the cabinet. We're going to hope it get a little bit stronger. But I like this now. It smells feminine, a little bit more mature. It smells a little elegant. 
It smells um, like Jergens. I'm telling y'all, Angelore. Really weird, but I like it. So, yeah, I'm glad. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate you just telling me don't don't throw this away. Because I, I was putting this in the trash. I do not remember. I do not remember the name of this fragrance. I'm going to have to. This is from the House of Latafa. I'm going to have to just put it on the screen. This is so good to me. You have to like Middle Eastern fragrances. You have to appreciate that dense stickiness that you would get from a fruitcake with like vanilla and oud and resin and dark sticky raisins or something like that to appreciate this. This is like not a new, this is like their fragrances. What I would smell when I would go to the counter and buy oils from the Middle Eastern fragrances. This is like all day, every day, long lasting winter. I could probably get away with this in fall. I just couldn't spray heavy. This reminds me of like dark stickiness, like like very sexy, alluring darkness. Like, yeah, this is this is unisex but sweet. So when you think of resin and sticky raisins with honey and oud and it just smells sticky. And um, how do I say this? <laughs> Yeah, it smells like um, sweaty bodies with sticky raisins, honey, and y'all just did too much. Y'all just went too far, okay? Y'all just played too long, went too far with all the extras. That's what it smells like. I love this. So there is a fragrance from Swiss Raven called Leali, and it is the, I want to say it's the original with the purple flower, and it's the oil. And I used to wear that during the like fall and winter at night. I used to love that oil. I, I just don't wear it anymore because I've been spraying fragrances, but this reminds me of the spray version of that. Y'all, this is, this is like very, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how to say it without being inappropriate. Okay, this is, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another fragrance I purchased in August is the Oros Donna. And yeah, I love this. This is Yolanda Long. Okay, this is a grown woman's fragrance. This is Yolanda Long, some powder notes, some sweetness, almost like two bros, Yolanda Long Jasmine type of situation, a white floral situation. This is really pretty. Reminds me of, yeah, really pretty. It has like some citrus notes and some sweet berries or something. Either pear or berry. And it reminds me of like spring. I got but it's probably a lot in spring. This is probably going to go really quickly. I don't even know the size of this. What is this? Y'all know I have my glasses on. Are you tripping or what? Expires 2028. You'll be going. Um, made in France. 100 mil. Okay, this, this, yeah, this will be gone. Uh, yeah, this is really good. I love it. Love this gaudy bottle. Can't wait to get every last one of the rest of them in this line because I want them all. We've already talked about this. Love this fragrance, really good. I've only worn it twice this month. Only wore it twice. I just felt like it was too hot putting it on the lawn. So it is what it is. Oh, but friend, come next spring, after this thing has been sitting in my cabinet, I already know it's about to go down. This particular fragrance was actually sent to me um, from Scentbird, but from the, what's the name of this house again? Sanctuary. And I did a video on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up and let it go because, uh, yeah. Me. I remember taking the travel spray on the cruise with me, so it would have been in January, February, where I received the travel spray of this fragrance from Sanctuary. This one right here is, um, I think it's, is it Aquafin? I'll put the name right here. I know it's something dolphin. And it is a beautiful, beautiful aquatic scent. It's Vaquita Dolphin. That's what it's called. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is so fresh and it's a very fresh, beautiful, clean, green scent. And they sent me the candle to look. This, I, I done burnt every night at the tub. I love this. They have candles now. I will try to link it down below. I don't think I have a particular link, but anyway. Um, yeah, this is good. They definitely have full-size fragrances now on Scentbird, but the fragrance line is Sanctuary. So proceeds from purchasing these fragrances actually goes to saving wells so what they did was they came up with, with these fragrances it's either four or five fragrances right each fragrance represent a endangered animal mammal whatever right and then proceeds go to saving the lives of these animals or doing more research on them 
because there are only so many left, you know, in the wild or whatever. So, yeah, I like this. This is so fresh, so clean and green. So, this reminds me of, what is her name? Donna. Donna, is that her name? This reminds me of Walking on Air from, I can't think of her name. My, my, not, my mind just went blank. Walking on Air. Do y'all remember that fragrance? It was so pretty and so green and so fresh. I used to like to wear it in springtime. But this has a more aquatic feel to it. So I like this a lot. Yeah, it just smells like green waters with blue floating through it. And it just smells really clean and fresh and green. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So I've worn this a couple of times. It's been hot, y'all. It is what it is. Paquita Dolphin, which I believe there's only 10 left. I was like, the more you know, honey, the more you know. But let's get into another one that I purchased. And this is Exclusive Rose from the house of the Maison Alhambra. And y'all, I love this scent, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you. So I was lucky enough to receive a bunch of fragrance samples, a decant sprayer. They were big, decants. And I compared this fragrance to the original that it is duping. I wanna say it's a take on that fragrance because there is a hint of difference, especially in the beginning. When it dries down, it's like, what? Are you kidding me? I was like 85, 90% the same. I love this. This is a beautiful rose fragrance. The top part feels like it's heavy to me. Like there is a spice in the heaviness at the top. But once it dries down, it's beautiful. It's a unisex scent. I think it leans a tad bit feminine because of the rose and the sweetness that comes after. But this is a beautiful scent. Very inexpensive. Um, I like the fact that they did a take on the original fragrance. And even though the bottle is similar... They didn't do the exact dupe of the bottle, like the colors, the top, and all that. They just did like the etching bottle like this with the, and they did not use a play on the name. So this is exclusive rose. I can't remember the other one, but I remember saying, is it the same fragrance? They don't even sound like, but interesting that they went ahead and went a different route. Y'all, this is really good. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot in fall. One of my favorites for the month of August. I'm so glad I just said, let me try it. I just kind of felt like when I bought the exclusive saffron, that this would just be as heavy. But as the day goes on, it does lighten up, become more sweeter. But it still has a presence. And I love it. This is really good. This just reminds me of late night, date night, black dress, strappy heel. You know what I'm saying? Clutch, do your thing, red lip. This reminds me of boldness, and I love it. A very feminine woman who's bold and beautiful. Okay. All right, so the next one, I purchased this at the end of July, and I told y'all I was going to let it sit. I'm going to wear it like crazy because it is what it is. This is another one from Armagh, the Club de Nuit line, and this is Untold. Okay. This is the one that smells like BR540. And when I first got it, I was like, well, I like it. It's sweet, it's good, or whatever. So, yeah, so Armoff has this thing in their fragrances. Every last one of them, where it's like their own particular musk. Their own Middle Eastern musk that reminds me of pheromones. Like, it reminds me of that when I smell their fragrances. They have something in their fragrances. I don't know what they're using to bind these oils, but they, there's something in there. And this definitely has it. So, eh, 85, 9% dupe, but I don't care that it's a dupe. I like it for what it is on its own. It has this muskiness in it. It doesn't fade and go away. I don't have to wonder if other people still smell me. It stays on me. It doesn't do that disappearing act thing. And I love it. Oh, I love it now. I love it. You'll see in a minute what I've been spraying it with. Yeah, I love it. And I was sick of that scent profile for a while. I told y'all, I was like, okay, I cannot. But there's a musk in here or a denseness that I would get like from Armoth, Mancera. You know what I mean when I say this. They have this dense musk, like pheromone type of thing going on in their fragrances. So, yeah. So even though this is the end of July, I threw it in the last day of July, but I just wanted to mention it for August. 
because it is one of my favorites for August and that's when I wore it was in August. So I think this is the last fragrance that is new for the month. And this was actually sent to me from Twisted Lily and this is from Hermetica and it's a pair. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Y'all, this is beautiful. <laughs> I wore this one night on a Friday night out with my friends out um, at the Zotico like festival like thing or whatever. I, mean, I could just smell myself everywhere I went. I got compliments all night and I'm obsessed with it. It's just so fresh and so beautiful. I just really wish these bottles were larger. I actually wore it again to a function and I paired it with another fragrance and I just felt so pretty. Like very feminine, pretty, fresh, spring, summer type of scent. Very beautiful fragrance. I don't know if I would wear it in the winter unless I paired it with something that was a little bit denser. But I would definitely keep this for spring and summer. So this is like a beautiful, fresh pair with musk and some white florals. It's just really fresh and mouth-watering. It just, it's like you're in a field with all these beautiful white florals and you're just chilling on your picnic blanket, relaxing, enjoying the sunlight. And it's a cool wind is coming through and you're eating green apples and very juicy pears. And it's just, it's all that in this bottle. I, I like this a lot, okay? Yeah, great for the Twisted Lily. If you're interested in trying to sample or getting a fragrance yourself, make sure you go on there. You can use my code HelenH10. I will totally link it down below. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how much I've used. You're not gonna be able to see this because... Um, all right, so the first fragrance we're gonna talk about is this one. I really enjoyed this one this month. I feel like this is a beautiful summertime fragrance. Like this is this is for summer, for real. This fragrance is called Summertime. It's inspired by the Will Smith song and the 90s or whatever. JC made only a few of these fragrances uh, available of this scent. And y'all, I love this scent. So this reminded me of Miami Nights. Beautiful tan bodies. Walk on the beach, oiled up. Um, sun is setting, music is going, everybody's enjoying themselves, having a really good time, sipping maybe like out of coconuts, but they're like alcoholic beverages, right? Mixed with like rum and pineapple. And it just reminds me of a hot, like sexy summer night on the beach. This is so good. This is definitely a vacation scent. <laughs> definitely. It's, it's really good. It's really good. It's one of the best ones I've ever smelled from him, besides like the coffee line. But this is so good. So proud of him in creating this fragrance. I'll try to link it down below. I don't know how many he has or how many he's created, but this is a really good one. And I'm so glad to have it in my collection. All right. So, so that fragrance right there, Pear from Hermetica. When I went out that night and I sprayed that fragrance, I actually sprayed with something else. Okay, just imagine a beautiful crisp apple, juicy pear. Let's just say tuberose, jasmine, and peach. That's what these two smell like together. So this is Madara from the house of Memo Paris. This mixed with that fragrance is beautiful. It's one of the best combinations I've ever sprayed on my body. I enjoyed it the next day, and no, it was two days later when I went to Sunday brunch. And I just felt like um, like a fairy tale. Like it was so beautiful. It just reminds me of fairy tales. And yeah, it just reminds me of feminine energy. Beautiful, refined, so pretty. This was so pretty. This, it doesn't smell mature, it doesn't smell youthful. It just smells beautiful and fresh and clean and just all things mouth-watering fruits with those florals. Yeah, so the combination of these two together, I've worn that twice and I know from now on, when I wear these, they will be worn together. That's just how I feel. Like, I feel like I love this fragrance as for what it is and I love that one, but then those two together, the combination is sick. Yeah, I told you all come to end the spring and summer, this bottle was gonna be like, yeah. It's sad. It's sad how much is left in here, but I love it. So the next combo that I wore several times because I was trying to figure out what I thought about this fragrance 
after it sat in my closet for a while. I knew my son didn't want it when he came down to visit. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to spray it with something. And I'll just wear it, you know. And then when I went to spray it, I was like, well, hey, you smell a little different, friend. You got a little extra little boost to you. I'm kind of liking this now. Okay, so this is why I like to put fragrances away for a while and come back. So this is from Keali, and this is the Wedding Velvet Santal. So this is supposed to be the masculine side of the wedding scent. Yeah, I like this. I like this. It says jasmine, it has tea leaves, white musk, cedar, benzoin, and sound of wood. And I told you I feel like the sound of wood wasn't as sweet and creamy as I wanted it to be. So I knew I was going to pair it with Zadik and Voltaire. And this is, I think this is her, right? Zadik and Voltaire, this is her. So these two together is the combo. This is the first clean white t-shirt combo. This is my everyday spray combo. I think for the month of August, I wore this four times. I could have worn it even more. I was just like, okay, you can't wear this every day. But this is a beautiful scent when it comes to fresh and clean and that sound of wood. That, yeah, this is beautiful. I like these two together. This reminds me, the, the sun tall part, right? Yeah, this has, mm, yeah, I like it now. At first it was okay <clears throat> and I enjoyed it. But now I feel like, um, now more than ever, I wish I had a bigger bottle of this and this. I would wear these all the time. I already know. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is a Dick and Voltaire. This is her. Beautiful sun, um, sound of wood like scent. Uh, oh, my God. Is it half empty? Okay. And it, has, it reminds me of like vanilla, sound of wood, kind of creamy like scent. Maybe hints of amber. But this right here is so beautiful to me now. Yeah, I really like this now. I really want another bottle or a bigger bottle because it's not going to be much left. I mean, I spray these a lot. I would say by before the end of next spring, probably these will probably be empty. There's not much in here. <laughs> Y'all know it sounds crazy. I've only had it for a couple months, but I spray a lot and it's not much left in here. It's the bottle small. All right, so next up is this combination right here. So this is YSL Leap. I told you I need to spray and use up this bottle. I wanted to add a little freshness to it. I feel like I enjoy this fragrance all on its own. I'm obsessed with this one. Y'all know I love this. I just need the other bottle, and I just told myself I'm not purchasing it until this is empty. And this is original Leap. So this is lavender. This also has, it reminds me of like vetiver or something like that. So to make this fragrance a little bit more softer and more a little bit more feminine, I actually got a message. I actually got a comment on one of the videos, and I was like, "Yeah, we like. I like the fragrance, but it seems a little harsh to me and masculine." And I was like, well, "Let me see if I can find a combination." So I found a combination. I shared it with you all before, and it was the Guerlain from Mon this Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. But this is an EDT, a fresh, sweet vanilla lavender type of scent with hints of like. Maybe like caramel or something in here. Something extra in here. I love this scent. This is my fragrance of the day. I've been spraying these two together like crazy. And I love it. Whether it's bedtime or everyday, whatever. Slay. Okay. This is what I have on today. So just imagine like the lavender and the woods and some vetiver and just some citrus sharpness, right? But you round it out with the more softer vanilla type of softer floral lavender. So you have to like lavender. You have to like lavender to like this combination because it's a lavender bomb. And I love it. So this is what I smell like today. Um Margarlon E T and YSL Lee, the original. Okay. So the next one I enjoy for the month of August a lot. Um, yeah, a lot, lot. And I just know that this is probably gonna be one of my favorite fragrances of the year. I just, I don't even know what to say. I'm just happy to have it in my collection. So this is Royal Musk, and this is from the M. McAuliffe line. And y'all, this is the most beautiful musk fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. Like, I've never smelled anything like this. It just has, like, this powderiness and this musk and this sweetness to it that just, I don't know, I really like this fragrance a lot. Oh, my goodness. There is something in here... Like a hint of citrus with like some sticks, like from a floral. But this is so pretty to me. I love this. Definitely has like, it reminds me of white roses, kind of sort of, with musk. It reminds me of everything white, okay? 
pretty clean beautiful i love this fragrance hands down one of my favorite must fragrances like ever last but not least the month of august okay so i tried to put this fragrance up in the cabinet and i told you all that but you know she just pulled it right back out Brina. and this is another one of those are my fragrances this is imperial this is a take i would say this is like delina and delina exclusive together I would say that. I wouldn't even say this is a dupe of Delina exclusive. I would just say it has it all combined together. Plus that um, must sexual, sensual something from our mouth that they have in their fragrances. And this is good. This is good, y'all. <laughs> this is good. This is good. But this mixed with untold. Mind blown. So. These two together, girl, mind blown. I mean, I wore this like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm up getting dressed. I put this on. By the time it was time for me to bathe, I could fit some of these two. I was like, oh, you smell good. All day I kept getting in and out the car like, sis, you smell good. <laughs> like, whoa, dang. Yeah, this, this is the, I'm a, I am addicted to this combination right here. I love this scent all by itself. I already know backup is coming. I will need a backup with this because I, this is one of the fragrances I want to always have in my collection. Beautiful. Love this fragrance. It has hints of like, oh, it just smells good. Okay, so this smells good. It just smells good, okay? Mmm. Oh, that's cold now. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for me. Make sure you like this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe. It's just a chill day for me, y'all. There's nothing formal about this video at all. I'm just relaxing and sharing the fragrances that I purchased in August or that was sent to me. And just sharing what I really and truly love in August. And I just wanted to put it all together so you can have one video, okay? And yeah, I look forward to September, to more fragrances, to trying out more samples. Because I haven't finished trying out all of the Carolina Herrera fragrances yet. So that video will be out soon. And I hope you're enjoying this one. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like I said, the algorithm is something else. Okay? So please click like. I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you all for those who continue to come back and watch me. And all my shenanigans. Okay? See you later. Peace and blessings.